This Defender looks awesome, but it's all bark and no bite. And today we're going to put in a long arm lift kit and some aluminum bumpers. Let's do this. Well, like you just heard in the intro, this truck is all bark, no bite. And did you know that Traxxas offers a long arm lift kit for the Defender and the Bronco? So you can make your favorite truck a high trail? So today we're going to be long arm lift kit kitting this long arm lift kit Are conversion. Are you kidding me? We're gonna do a long arm lift kit conversion on the Defender as well as aluminum bumpers. These just came out from Traxxas. They look amazing. There's different ones for the Bronco and the Defender. This one's 9734X. And the Bronco's 9735X. This costs $45 for both of them. And in order to do your long arm lift kit, you need a different drive shaft. So you'll have to get 9855 to do an effective long arm lift kit job. The lift kit itself is part number 9530. 95, 98, 90, 98, 51. So we've done uh, the Mickey Thompsons, the beadlocks, As wheel you'll weights. See, it looks amazing. I think it looks great, but it's really not great because it rubs. Mm -hmm. The wheels rub like crazy. It's a mall crawler right now. Kind of. We've got a new motor that we're going to pop in there and we're going to turn this thing into a crawling beast. Okay, let's open these up. Oh, and these aluminum bumpers. So it looks like you get taller shock mounts, some longer pan hard bars. You get another steering linkage, which you really don't need. So this would be for the front, this is the rear, and then they give you a, a hitch, a dropped hitch too if you want one. Not too good for crawling, it'll hang you up on everything under the sun and you'll get mad at the thing and want to rip it off, but you got one if you want it. Alright, so right here we have these aluminum bumpers, let me pop them out. Beautiful. That's all aluminum. Even the D-rings. The D-rings actually swivel too. Nice. Look at that. This right here to mount it is indeed plastic. That's kind of a fail. As you can see. I don't know about you guys, but on our Defenders, that back one breaks. And yeah. then your body won't stay locked on. That is true. That, that is should be true. aluminum right there. And then we have the rear. Looks beautiful. Genuine Traxxas parts. Screws in the back. Probably, yeah. Don't throw it prematurely. There's screws in the back. The amount of times that I've wondered where the heck the screws are and they've been in here is <laughs> uncountable. All right, so I'm gonna start installing the bumpers right here. And I'm gonna take out the motor, pull the crawler gears out of this transmission and swap it out for this one. All right, I've just about got this motor out of here and transmission and we'll Take the crawler gears out of this one and stick them in the brand new one. We personally don't use all four screws on our motor. Maybe you should, we don't. It really works just fine to do that. Two work fine. Yeah, we do two or maybe three if you want to be and safe. upgrade to stainless if you can do it because it's a much better screw. I've got this bumper almost off. I just have to disconnect these lights here so there's a screw here and a screw here it fell off if you're looking for good wire cutters or cutters for basically anything nipex is an amazing brand they're german made and they're very quality and they're very precise so i can cut a tiny little zip tie like that in one cut all right our lights are out as you can see this is the little piece that is used to keep that in there i assume that we can just pop them back in there there's little light spots If you're paying attention, you'll notice that we don't need those mounts that I just talked about. In this right here, we have a spot where we push them in and they come out the front like that. We put this on the front, it's going to shine through there just like that. So in here is the stock gearing. I pulled out the crawler gears right here. This is the replacement gear for this one and see the size difference. Mm -hmm. It's actually quite a difference in size. This it one. really changes the truck. A hundred percent. It, it makes feels like it you can actually crawl. Right. Mm -hmm. It doesn't give up. Like if you just have stock gears, you might be experiencing the truck just gives up a lot. Mm -hmm. If you put the crawler gears in, it stops doing that. Yeah. If 
you're wondering, yes, the screws that go through the plastic into the aluminum have Loctite on them from the factory, so we're good on that. So when you put this on, you might be like, okay, let's put this on. Then how does it screw on? So you can see there's a screw hole in this metal right here, but not uh -huh. here. So it's like, what the heck? How do I put this on? Mm -hmm. So you go to look in your aluminum parts that you got, it, nothing's there. I had to take this piece out of my old bumper. This piece was sitting right in there like oh, that. Yeah. It was sitting like that. You have to, to reuse it, that part. I had to take it out of my old bumper, take this out, put this in there, Yep. and then put this in there. Kind of weird how I have to reuse an old piece of the old bumper. Yep. But that's how your body clicks on. Kind of weird, Traxxas. I don't know why they didn't give you all of it new, because yeah, they know. gave you everything else. That's what you have to do. All right, so as you can see, the aluminum bumpers are, are on. They look awesome. Look at the front. It looks awesome. What I'm gonna have to do is take off the shock mounts right here and here. So I'm gonna have to disconnect the shocks, and I'm going to have to take off the drive shafts and all these arms. All the pan hard bars. All right, so we're getting to the point where this is looking scary. The car is in 870 million pieces. Besides that, <laughs> there you go. There's a TRX4M axle. So on the new high trail kit, you get steel pillow balls. Hmm. These are plastic pillow balls. These pillow balls are plastic right here. These are the, the OEM arms for the trx for m but see right here, these are the high trail ones and they're stainless steel. Nice. Good upgrade because these tend to get kind of compromised. There's even sometimes they'll be drilled through the side from the factory, like they'll be drilled in right here from the factory and they'll be like compromised. You can see that's how it was from the factory, compromised like that. You can see it got drilled in from the side. All right, so we've got the front all assembled. Insembled. The front is all assembled. Back here are in, but we need to do the shock towers. We need to take out the ECM. So we're gonna have to take out these two shock towers, those two. <clears throat> and then once we get all this sorted out, we should be on the road again. At first glance, this is the difference between the two shock mounts and they look the same, literally the same. But the mounting points themselves are actually different. So. This one is the old one and it mounted up here. So if we put the mounting points level, this one is a lot lower as you can see. And that's what we want. The lower the shock tower, the higher the car. We managed to stuff the OEM shock mount in there and you can see the difference right here. You can see how much higher that one is. Yep, so that's gonna make this shock is going to be that much lower so your wheels will be higher off the ground and this is down low um quite a bit lower than yeah this, this is one. stock height right there yeah and, and that this drops one's quite a bit lower which means it's going to keep that gravity down low all right so we're just getting to the front shock mounts the rear is done completely finished obviously it needs wheels but it's completely you can finished. see it's taller definitely taller compared to this axle compared to that one. Then we're gonna put the motor in, put the new drive shaft in, and she's ready. Let's do it. And, and the tires, but. Tires will help. Yeah. So all the shocks are in, the shock towers are in, long arms done. Perfect. We just need to get the drive shafts on and the motor, and we should be ready. Look at this, this is just a quick little comparison. This is a high trail Chevy. Look at 
it's taller by a little bit, but it is actually taller. By a luggage rack. Yeah, the original Defender. Oh my goodness, that sits low. Wow. And then you see this thing, bright as the sun over here. <laughs> wow, it's, what a difference. Man, it looks good. Let's look at it from the back as well. But look at that thing. Oh my goodness, it looks amazing. The full build so far is Traxxas aluminum bumpers paired with the Pro Scale lighting kit and the off road light bar. Then we have Baja Pro X5s on here, the same as what's on the high trails. We have a custom white body and it's got a long arm lift kit with wheel weights and beadlock rims, along with GTM aluminum shocks. We also got tinted windows and a crawling transmission so that this thing can go nice and slow over the over the terrain. rocks, over the terrain. We have stainless steel pan hards and skid plates. Yeah, aluminum diff gears are in there too. Yeah, and it's got a lot of stainless steel um, converted screws in it as well. So, man, it's looking good. Traxxas just, look just needs to come out with a little baby winch for these things. Exactly. We Actually, if you look at it... It's a real fair lead. There is a spot for it, and you can get... Well, I know you can get different um, kinds for the 10th scale, but um, there is a spot. So it's like maybe they'll maybe they'll take this spot out and actually replace it with a real winch. That another another would be cool nice. thing might be if they had different color D rings. Yeah. If you wanted to change those up. Yeah. Full maxed out articulation not rubbing unless I like really force it, but I don't know why that would happen. So we're not rubbing. What if I turn the wheel? Turn the wheel. No rub. Nice. No rub at all. This thing is coming She's along. She's getting pretty dialed in. She is. Well, there you have it. What a difference a lift makes. I know, right? Fully lifted Defender. I, I'm gonna say it, it's the first Fully tracks this high trail defender on YouTube. Probably right. It even made it through our trail just fine. Mm hmm So spots that don't that normally take a little longer, it just drove right through. Yeah. This is a normal defender and it's very, very It short looks so little now. Compared to this giant defender. This is even a high trail and look it. It's like the mm. same size, even maybe a little bit shorter. The luggage rack is a little taller. Comment down below what you think of it. If you're here, we're glad you're here. Thank you for watching fully all the way through the video. Make sure that you're subscribed and that you have rung the bell so that you don't miss another video from us. Mm -hmm. I recommend you go check out last week's video where we released this Raptor. Really awesome video. You should check it out. I guess that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Hopefully we'll see you in the next one. 3x7 Outdoors, signing out. Bye for now.